Let's learn about Azega's lobe today. Azega's lobe is a rare anatomic variant of right upper lobe. It is found in 1% of the people and 0.4% of the chest x-ray. It is not a true accessory lobe because it has no separate bronchus or blood supply. It is actually an anatomically separated segment of the right upper lobe. Embryology It is formed during the embryologic development when the right posterior cardinal vein, which is a precursor of Azegal's vein, migrates through the right upper zone of the lung rather than over the apex, thereby carrying the two pleural layers along with it, creating a fissure known as Azegal's fissure. The lowest portion of the fissure has Azegal's arch, and the lung enclosed between the fissure and the mediastinum is known as Azegal's lobe. It is formed during the embryological development when the right posterior cardinal vein, which is the precursor of Azegas vein, migrates through the right upper zone of the lung rather than over the apex, thereby carrying the two pleural layers along with it, creating a fissure known as Azegas fissure. The lowest portion of the Azegas fissure has Azegas arch and the lung enclosed between the Azegas fissure and the mediastinum is known as Azegas lobe. In the X-ray or CT, the Azegas fissure appears as a thin curvilinear density in the right upper lobe with convexity facing towards the chest wall. At its base, Azegas vein appears as a teardrop shaped opacity. Clinical significance. The fine convex line may mimic the appearance of the wall of bulla or pleural line in pneumothorax. The differential diagnosis of Azegar fissure includes abscess, bulla, pneumothorax, or may mimic lung mass when the consolidation of the Azegar slope happens. Thank you.